Ladies and gentlemen, we got a tournament arc on our way, but these fucking clowns are putting Tatsu in a support engineer role. Now, hear me out. I think this will go well for a couple of reasons because now, because he can pretty much modify and like maintain the CADs for everyone else, they'll be able to do well. But I imagine there will be a moment where some shit will happen. It's like, oh no, we need an extra player for this kind of thing. And it's like, who can do it? And then Jimunji might be like, I recommend Tatsuya. And then we go in and somehow we beat the Crimson Prince. I don't know. I have a lot of expectations for this tournament. Let's begin. Young Master. Young Master. No, no, this is current timeline. They love him. Mister. <laughs> Mister. <laughs> this is so weird to me to see Tatsuya get this much respect because, you know, every time at our school, people are like, you fucking weed. Mr. Silver! He is Silver Taurus, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, I think it was kind of implied the last episode, right? But still, goddamn. Mr. Taurus. Wait, he is Mr. Taurus? So he's maybe he's using his name together. I, I don't know. Basically, Tatsuya is the genius engineer though. It makes sense. The gun? Oh, the flying stuff? 17, sir. I, I was not close. Oh, Jesus! What an abusive boss. Then again, yeah, this is kind of a huge deal. They're, fi they're flying. Hmm? Who is this? It's the butler again? No, it's a different dude. Mr. Aoki? It's dad! But dad doesn't recognize Tatsuya, why? Yeah, recognize Tatsuya, motherfuckers! We are Yotsuba. We do not look too kindly to a mere body. Shut the fuck up, you mere butler! Fuck you! And your goofy ass tuxedo! But because Tatsuya exists, it dangers the succession? You're an escort too! Shut him up, Tatsuya. Fuck him up. <laughs> look at this dude. His ears kind of look like an elves. Yeah, inappropriate. Not very professional of you, huh? How many other candidates are there for the successor? Look at him get pressed. You the fourth highest rank. He's fourth highest? Wow. <laughs> Yo, Tatsu's so good at talking too. Look at him kind of feign ignorance and dish out all these fucking disses at him. Sure, sure. Bro, oh my god, please get ice. Freeze his ass. Freeze his ass. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuck him up, Miyuki. No, come on. The eldest sister of Maya. Eldest sister of Maya. The four. Oh, this is getting weird, but the current successor's older sister is basically Tatsuya's. Mom? Mom? Yeah? Yo, the Yotsuba sisters are kind of... Oh, I want to get to know more of them, man. They look like MILFs, man. Oh my god. It's right up my alley. Isn't this Dio's voice actor? Kanazuki Kyohei! And now... The Riser! And now Tatsuya's dad? That's him, right? It is him! Hmm. I feel like the dad is not really a bad person. I feel like this entire family is like matriarchy and the dad is just a pawn, you know? What? <laughs> Being the support engineer? No! We're trying to win the tournament! I guess this is a huge deal for the course 2 students, right? Wow, the seven, you know, whatever the fucking tournament this is. That's crazy, Tatsuya, wow, but no, I want him to participate in it. Nine schools competition. Damn, Jimonji, he's not doing this right now. He's actually standing. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hilarious if Jimonji was still like this? Yo, these two girls keep getting shown, but we don't get much of them. This girl's a super sim for Tatsuya to the point where he calls him Onisama. And the other girl with the bangs, uh, we don't really get much of her. Who is this dude? I I'm sorry, I forgot his name. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Erika. Yo, what? <gasps> Onisama? Woo! <laughs> no, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the official coronation, right? Right? Okay. 
I expect no one to be really clapping other than us. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. Look at this shitters, man. Fuck you. God, they don't even fucking realize that he is going to save your fucking school in this tournament. You pieces of shit. I can type on the keyboard very fast. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the girl right there. Shut your ass up, bitch. True. True. No, 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 what, what, what the glasses girl said was objectively right. No, it's Onisama. She calls him Onisama. <laughs> no, it's my step bro. <laughs> Shizuku never says much. Huh? She kind of feels like the Kudere type, right? I like Shizuku. They're so tiny. <laughs> Holy fuck. What's she doing? Her eyes. Her eyes are very special. But how is it going to help or, I don't know, relate to the plot? See how much better she looks without the glasses? What? What was that burst of energy? Was that because she took the glasses off and it was acting as some kind of like... Like her eyes are so sensitive if that she takes the glasses off that happens? Tatsuya and... No, it's the other dude. It's the other dude we saw last episode. Remember like Erika's like childhood friend? Who is this dude? Yoshida. Yoshida. Like we don't really know much about him because he just showed up. You wouldn't hurt her, right? Maybe these two will be a ship. What is the purpose of Yoshida? This, his name is Yoshida? Because he... Tatsuya's here too. Why is he so upset like we caught him jacking off or something? What the, what the fuck? Why is he so upset? <laughs> yeah, his music is full. Blame Mizuki. <laughs> Throw her under the fucking bus. Oh, Tatsuya actually saved... I, I didn't see him, but... Spirit magic. What is special about spirit magic? It's ancient magic. How does it help us? Summoning magic. Hmm, her eyes are going to be crucial for her spirit stuff. Interesting. This is a ship. Yep, this is a ship. Now Mizuki doesn't have to get cucked by Tatsu anymore. <laughs> by all the other girls, I mean. Yeah, I'm out, peace. <laughs> the crystal eyes. She probably does have it. No, 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 no. Those eyes are very important. Or the spirit stuff. No, but where is it going? Where's this plot line going? So it's important that you can see the different shades of the color as well, not just like blue. Eyes that can see God. Huh. I mean, it's been foreshadowed that her eyes are super special. Claimed her for myself by force. Hey, I thought we were talking about consent here, huh? Oh, oh that's kind of really sus, bro. Are we going yet? Big bus? Mari. <gasps> Miyuki? Oh, oh who prays in a different outfit? Oh, shit. Let me see that hat. Let me see that sunflower dress. Come on, let me, let me see that summer gown. Come on, look. Oh, my goodness. We're going for a picnic? Are we going for a picnic? Damn, Prez. You know, Prez is really fine, too, man. Miyuki's great, but, you know, Prez is actually not blood-related, right? Huh. Oh, it looks great. Oh, she probably was late picking out a dress just for Tatsuya right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it truly becomes you. What a compliment. Yeah. Your titties are fucking exaggerated as fuck here. They're great. Oh, yeah. Jumonji and Saisuga, you know, they're the 10 clans. I, that's not what he meant, but thank you. Tatsuya, I think me, I think. Prez basically wanted some shit like, damn, you look real nice, girl. I like the way that the dress looks on your ass, but it's more like, yeah, you're misreading this. You're like reading way too deep. Even Onisama isn't perfect at times like that. Shimonji still! Ah, uh, Prez. Prez is getting aggressive! Falling prey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we don't have to nullify Prez's love magic. Bewitching face. Her eyes are really cool, though. It's like red, you know, like a vampire or some shit. 
Uh, Hanzo again. Oh, he redeemed himself last episode. Hanzo redeemed himself. <laughs> Your dress looks so great. Oh my god. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think this is the kind of reaction, you know, you know, press one from Tatsuya. <laughs> You're trying to just cover those legs up, huh? Damn! Hanzo's best day! They're having a lot of fun. Okay, which one is K? Beyonce. Do I remember this? I forget. Who is K again? Oh, that dude. Only if it's my Onisama's body fluids. Oh, she's only thirsty for Onisama, though. <laughs> <laughs> and she's still thinking of Onisama. Onisama must be parched right now. Uh. We're getting more of these supporting characters. It's nice. Oh, she is so, so considerate. He's just standing outside in the sun. He wasn't suffering. Oh god, it's the soundtrack again. It's the soundtrack again. Yes, he's such a perfect individual. He's so perfect. Your only son is so great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Oh, Miyuki's all happy now. Kudre dub. Nice one, nice one. She did a little piece there. Very cute. Wait, what's going on? What's this car? Wait! Wait, whenever you have multiple cars lined up like this, some bad shit might happen. It's almost like a prison... Oh, wait. Did he lose control on purpose there? Onisama! Onisama! Yes, Onisama! Save everyone! How? What's he gonna do? No, no? Oh, okay. Unisama, Jimonji would be perfect right now. Jimonji would be perfect for this right now, but... The episode's gonna stop. No, don't play the ending soundtrack. No! Stop! Cliffhanger, no! This some bullshit, bro. Shit was getting finally good. Not that it wasn't good this episode. This episode was really nice. It was more of a setup. You know, we got only someone's reveal as he is Tower Silver. And flying magic stuff is going to happen. He's leading this entire group of engineers. It's kind of crazy what Onisama has gotten himself into. Not only is... I thought he's just a... Re he's never re ever just a regular student. But the fact that he's got like these ties to the military, some kind of special... Uh, uh, he's like a special officer. You know, he's also from like the Yotsuba family. There's some weird succession war going on there. The fuck the butler too, by the way. And now he's part of the fucking Taurus group or some shit. And now we're getting more introduction of the supporting characters. You know, we, we know about Mizuki. We know about the spirit dude. They're, they're a thing. Erika and Leo, we already got enough of them. The Kude girl and you know, the girl that calls Onisama, Onisama, even though it's not Onisama, you know, those two. And the red haired girl and the fucking fiance. Anyways, at the end there, they were saying, stop, don't use your magic. I imagine people are gonna try to stop it, but apparently if you do, maybe it'll explode. Maybe this is all part of the plan and only someone will come save the day as he always does. And then the entire fucking bus is gonna go, ah, only someone! Please, please something like that. Anyways, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.